welcome back uh, today we are going to do activity from page number 34 we are going to insert a chart in a PowerPoint presentation for that we have to go to a new slide from here in that we are going to select title and content option a new slide is there in front of you in which this is the title part and this is the content part here we are going to type for for once sheet this performance sheet is made up for students you can color it also by selecting the text you can increase the size also of the text if you want okay these are the placeholders where the text you have written okay and the edges are called as handles to increase the size or decrease the size of the placeholder right now we are going to insert the chart this is the insert chart option left click various kind of charts can be prepared which is given in this list right as per the textbook we are going to create a column chart this is the column chart this is the preview of the column chart and press ok button so in front of you the chart is ready now you are going to enter the text now at the same time the chart is open and Microsoft Excel is open both are connected with each other how whatever the changes you make in the Excel sheet the same shall be reflected in the chart let me show you how select the text and click on delete option can you see entire chart is wiped out x axis y axis all things are wiped out now you can enter the text now if you see this excel sheet which is there in front of you just i'm briefing you what it is called as this a is called as a column b is called a column c is called as column so columns are labeled with alphabets and numbers which you see right now one two three four five they are labeled with one two three they are called as rows and due to the intersection of these rows and column the cells are then created so these cells have a specific cell address what is the cell address when i keep the mouse pointer over here okay this is mouse pointer which is highlighted so it is called as b1 if i keep the mouse pointer over here it is called as a1 if i take the mouse and keep it over here the cell address is d1 okay this is how you should keep in mind how it is called as now it is ready to accept the text name N A M E name. Physics is the name of the subject. If you see, as I am writing physics in the legend part, it is reflected with blue color. So the bar which will be created over here in the column chart will be reflected with blue color and it is represented by physics. Physics means blue color. Now I'm giving another name of another subject. Okay. Chemistry. Third subject, biology. Right? So chemistry is reflected with orange color and biology is reflected with 
gray color. Now I'm going to write the name of the students. Arisha, Navin, Ridima, Kavir, Now, as and when I'm giving the numbers, you will see the bar will be raised to that number. Similarly, the axis will also change its numbers. The x-axis will change its number. Now, see how. When I write 76, you can see it has automatically changed to 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, like that. If I raise the numbers, accordingly, the bar will also raise. See, 99. Can you see the bar has also raised? The axis has also raised its configuration, right? So I'm changing. As I'm changing, you can see the bar is also coming up. Now, if you observe Arisha and Navin's marks, quickly you can come to know that Arisha has performed well in chemistry, almost nearer to 100. Navin has compared comparatively got less marks, but it is better than biology and physics. Same way, it, Arisha is better than, has performed in chemistry well than physics and biology. So comparative analysis using the chart becomes easier and faster. And that's why we are creating this chart right students Okay, so now if you see uh, for all four of the students, Arisha has performed well in chemistry, lesser than that, Navin has performed, less than that, Ridhima has performed, comparatively better performance by the Kabir in chemistry. So comparative analysis among the students as well as among the subjects of an individual becomes easier with the help of the chart and that's why we create the chart. Now. The question arises, so if you want to add one more name, then can we do so? Yes, of course. How to do that? Simple. Take the mouse pointer here, left click, drag it down. That's it. One more name can be added. Now, let's see whose name. Anika, right? Let her perform well in all the subjects. Let us try. Oh, there it is. So comparatively, the performance can be seen almost nearer the Anika is performed well, little bit less by Kabir and Ridhima, like that. So we are creating chart for comparative analysis only. And that's why uh, a chart plays a very crucial role in analysis of performance of an individual. Okay. If you want to change the background of the legend, then select the legend, right click, click on format legend option and go to the fill option, go to picture and texture, go to texture option. These are various texture which you can enter and this is the background, right? Similarly, if you want to apply it for the data series, Select the data series, make sure that you have selected all the data series together and then you can go to the gradient field or you can go to the pattern field, select the pattern of your choice and it is applied. You will say sir if you want to mix match color, okay here you can go, go to the color, select the color of your choice, right and then the changes have been done. So this is how the chart will be helpful to us. So in the next sheet, 
I am going to make a mark sheet of the table. Click on insert table, number of columns 5, number of rows, say for example it is 6, and press OK button. Oh, the table is ready. Select the table and put it here. Stretch the table in such a way that it covers the entire sheet properly. Yes. Then go to the table style option. Select the style which you want. As you are navigating through the various, you can have a preview on the sheet how the table will look. You can go through it step by step, slowly go through it, choose the design of your choice. You can choose any, choose the design of your choice and save it. The table is ready. Now go to the layout option, select the table, control plus A, you have selected the entire table. Go to alignment option, the layout option, center vertically and center. You click on these two buttons and then wherever you tap, the text will come in the exact center of a cell. Roll number, name, the English map rule number as per our textbook it is one zero one name is A J A Y Ajay Hindi he has scored fifty English he has scored seventy Maths he has scored 80. I just increase it. Boys are good boys. 103. Anika. Scored 88. 79. 85. Girls are very good girls. 104 Navin 75 78 79 You can use the top arrow, bottom arrow, left and the right arrow key. I am navigating in the table using these arrow keys 105 Again, I'm using the arrow key, that is the right arrow key to go to the next cell. 98. Raj should be R should be capital. Be careful. 67. And 76. 6. Shailu, 90, 67, and 56. So this is the table you created for presentation. And that finishes both the activity. And thank you very much. Have a nice time.